In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to use Prospective tool in GIMP. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I have already imported an image and uh, here uh, we have different things and uh, we have a photo frame here and I am going to add a picture in this photo frame using Prospective tool. So first um, we need to activate the Prospective tool. Just click on this icon, Prospective icon to um, activate it or you can activate it by pressing P on um, the keyboard. So as soon as you will activate the um, Prospective tool, you will have tools options here. So the first option we have here is um, uh, the mode. So we are going to um, use the perspective tool in layer however you can work selectively um, you also can uh, work within the path area and also you can work on image and then we have direction mode um, you can go with uh, you can go with corrective backward mode or normal forward mode by default you will get normal forward mode and we are going to change into that and then we have um, the interpolation method since we'll be adjusting the perspective um, so the image might be reduced and the quality might affect so by choosing different interpolation method um, you can avoid losing quality of the um, image when you um, reduce the size if you're not clear about the interpolation method we have a different video on how to resize an image without losing quality in GIMP. So that video will help you to understand different interpolation methods. So I'm going to go with cubic. And then we have um, TV options here and you, you can also adjust the opacity. And then we have guides options. So by choosing different guides, it helps you to understand um, the position of the um, object or image. You can choose different one like center line rule of thirds or you can go with none so I'm going to go with center line so now we're going to import an image to place it within this photo frame this is a large picture we'll just have to use these handles to resize So let's zoom out so that we can see closely and adjust it more accurately. It's always good to spend time with this so that we can avoid the errors. Alright, I think it's okay. And then click transform. So friends, this is how you can transform um, anything um, using perspective tool. So now I'm going to show you another use of the perspective tool. I'm going to select this um, particular area and then we'll create a separate layer and then we can adjust that layer too. So you will understand it better as you progress. So now I'm going to show you another use of the perspective tool. Um, that is, we are going to select this area. And then I'm just randomly showing you guys so you can take time for accurate selection. Then I cut this 
area and then we'll test it as a new layer okay so now we can adjust it like that I mean if we want to make it big or whatever so friends this is the another use um, you can always play with this uh, settings and um, all this I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.